can get to go. Hi everyone back home, um, I'm here with Matt. Uh, he's written a couple of books on how to buy uh, properties here in Tampa and, and actually make some decent money out of it. I'll show you the, the books that I bought on Amazon when I get back home. Um, but we're outside one of the properties here that, that he owns or is in the process of closing, is that right? Yeah, we've closed on this one and just uh, almost finished fixing it up. Yeah, yeah. so, so we've, he's done an entire rehab inside there. Um, and just tell us a little bit more about what you're doing here in Tampa. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're buying properties from a lot of different sources, but they're mostly bank-owned properties. Uh, they're properties that we're buying directly from lending institutions, sometimes at property auctions, and sometimes we do buy properties just from distressed owners that are upside down in their houses. Uh, we're able to get short sales done, uh, but they're mostly distressed properties, foreclosed properties, bank-owned homes. We find them, we buy them, we fix them up, we rent them out, we make them totally turnkey, and that's when we sell them to investors, and they make a really good cash flow return. Yeah, that's, that's what impressed me so much over here. I just came down from Orlando at the moment, and generally we're finding properties that will uh, give us a net yield of roughly uh, between 8 and about 11%, mm -hmm. which, is, which is fairly standard, and it's pretty good by our standards, but here we we're finding slightly better, around 12-13%. Um, tell me a little bit about how you're getting that, uh, that kind of yield. Yeah, absolutely. Well, these were houses that were selling, could be anywhere between, you know, 75,000 and 200,000 just a few years ago. Now we're buying these properties anywhere between 40 and 65,000, maybe a little bit more than that, but in that range, you know, 40 to 60 is kind of our sweet spot. We're buying them for that price. We're putting anywhere between five and 15,000 into them. And then we're able to sell them, uh, like in the case of this one, we're looking at right here, I believe the purchase price was somewhere in the 50s. Is that correct, Lens? 57. Yeah, 57. And this one is fixed up now and will rent for somewhere around the 900 mark, maybe even more than that. So less than 60,000 and it'll rent for 900 a month. That's cash flow, even with all reserves taken out, property taxes, insurance, everything. Um, that's still going to be a easily a double digit return, probably like 12 or even 13% possibly. So that's that's, that's, that's the formula right now. Yeah, it's going good. And then tenant demand, um, I mean, we've spoken a little, a little bit about mm -hmm. Section 8 uh, tenants down here. Um, first off, explain what a Section 8 is just so that the, the guys back home can understand. Yeah, absolutely. Section 8 is a government subsidized housing program. Um, it's federally funded, but it's run in each state um, differently in each county in each state. So in some places, Section 8 runs really well. In other places, it's not as good. Here in the Tampa, St. Pete, Clearwater Market, Central Florida area, it's a very good system. Um, you rent it out. You pass the inspection, which is a pretty easy thing to do because we fix them up all the time. You rent it to a Section 8 renter, and then your government or your money comes straight from the government wired directly to your account every month. So there's no collections. Um, in 12 years, I've never kicked out a Section 8 renter. So whereas there are some areas in America where that system doesn't work very well, this is probably one of the best parts um, to invest in as far as these types of properties in Florida uh, because it, they rent out pretty easily and they're guaranteed rent. The Section 8 renters usually stay longer than a regular renter does. Once they get in, they want to stay. Well, and, I'd uh, say too if I got a free house. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. A free house, you don't, you're not gonna, you're not gonna leave that. Yeah, exactly. absolutely. So it ends up being a really easy to collect. Um, like I said, we've never kicked one out before. So it's a great program. Works really well here in Tampa. Um, you mentioned one thing about the, the Section 8 tenants because um, I know, I know, back home we tend to have uh, an issue with the relationship between who's paying for the property and the guy staying in the property. And sure. if he's actually paying himself, he's got an incentive to kind of look after it and that type of stuff. Yeah. But now you mentioned that there's a huge demand for Section 8 properties um, where the guys take five or six years um, to actually get processed yeah. through the list. That's right. Yeah. There's a huge, yeah, there's a huge waiting list. Um, the truth is, is there, there's not enough Section 8 homes to fill everyone that would want one, so they only put out so many vouchers at a time. Um, we're one of the best in our area at attracting those tenants, which is one of the hardest things to do is, is attracting those tenants to call you, put them in good cash flowing properties. Um, and yeah, they, they do treat the property like it's their own because if they don't treat the property well, they're going to get kicked off that Section 8 program. And that would be like losing your job. And, <laughs> and, and it happens. Very, very few people get kicked off the Section 8 program. It's never happened to us with hundreds of properties we've worked with, but people do lose their jobs a lot in this current economy. So Section 8 actually helps us uh, collect better and actually limit that liability of the economy right now where people are losing jobs. Uh, they're not losing their Section 8 funding like they might be losing a job. So so, so you you like kind of having the U.S. government as your tenant and, you know, they, they pay you. <laughs> we do. We do. The, the U.S. government is, they're not losing their job. They never have excuses, and the uh, the rent is there on the first every day, direct wired into my bank account. So That's pretty uh, we just you know coordinate any kind of maintenance or anything like that, but no collection hassles at all. 
And like I said, in 12 years, we've not kicked out one Section 8 tenant. Um, and out of all the properties that I personally hold, many of them are Section 8 rented. Uh, so it's a, it's a great system for sure. So you're saying the ones that you personally hold, um, you're also uh, with the Absolutely. Section 8? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. The same types of properties that I sell to investors all over the world are the same types of properties that I hold. Uh, many of them, like the one I'm showing you right now, this is one that I own, you know, and yeah. I would gladly hold this in my portfolio and make 12, 13% on it for the next five, 10 years. You know, <laughs> I would gladly do that. And if I could keep every single property I bought, I would, but I've got to keep flipping properties so I can keep some. So yeah. And so that you can grow that capital a bit quicker and get as many as absolutely, you can in this, in this small window that we have. To That's take right. We've got to do it while we can before it's over, yeah. for sure. Thanks very much for your time, yeah, Matt. Yeah. It's been good. Yeah, great cool. talking to you. See you guys. <laughs>